Hello everybody, uh, depending on the time of day you're watching this, good morning, good afternoon, or good night. Um, I hope everybody's having a good week, and my name is Gretchen Palmer, um, or Sister Palmer, and we've been in the ward since it switched, um, but we've been in Vineyard about two years, and we're so excited to, I'm so excited to be able to share this message with, message with you. Um, so this week we learned about Alma the Younger. Um, we learned that the Lord wants us to forgive. We learned that the gospel helps people change um, and become more like Jesus and that we can share the gospel uh, just like the sons of Mosiah did. But today we're going to be focusing on forgiveness. And the Lord asks us and we learn um, from this section that the Lord asks us to forgive ourselves and others. Uh, so what is forgiveness? What's forgiveness? And parents, if you want to pause, you're more than welcome to, to talk about what forgiveness is with your kids um, right here. But I found um, a good definition that I, I want to share. And so forgiveness has to do... Um, with making a decision to free yourself from holding on to resentment um, or bad feelings um, towards somebody else. So I know that in my life, um, I have to ask to be for forgiven a lot. Um, I have to ask my husband. Sometimes I have to ask my mom or my sister um, or my kiddos. Um, and then they have to do the same. And it always feels so much better when I forgive um, and when I ask for that forgiveness. So um, in Mosiah 26, 31, it says, um, and we learn, uh, and ye shall also forgive one another your trespasses. Verily, I say unto you, he that forgiveth not his neighbor's trespasses when he says that he repents, the same hath brought himself under condemnation. So what does that mean? What does that mean to us? Um, and parents, if you want to pause again, you're welcome to. Um, but to me, that means that we need to forgive each other, um, forgive others um, and ourselves when they hurt us or when we hurt ourselves, um, because Forgiveness gives, them, gives us freedom. When we don't forgive, lots of anger and hate um, start to grow inside of us, and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger, um, and it makes it so we can't feel the Spirit. It makes it so we can't feel the love of Heavenly Father or Jesus Christ uh, or the love of others, our family. And so when we're able to forgive um, and let go and move forward, we provide we are given freedom to feel all those things. Feel Heavenly Father. Feel Jesus. Feel the Spirit. Feel love. Um, so let's see. So do you guys know the this, this story of Alma the Younger? It's actually, it's one of my favorites. Um, and this is, oh, it's kind of hard to see. But you can cut this out and glue it. Um, it's in the Come Follow Me. Excuse me. Um, and I'll actually, um, there'll be a link there so you can, you can find that. But so, um, Alma the Younger, he, his dad was Alma, um, the one that came from, um, Abinadi and learned from Abinadi. Um, and Alma the Younger didn't like, didn't believe in the church and he actually wanted to destroy the church and drive people away from it. Um, and one day, um, him and his friends, the sons of Mosiah, they were walking, um, and an angel appeared to them. And the angel said, in a nutshell, why are you doing this, Alma? Why, why are you persecuting, and why are you trying to drive these people away from the church? And it was so powerful that Alma fell, fell down, and he didn't wake up for a few days. And during those few days... Um, he was in torment. He was reliving all of his sins. And then finally, he came to a place where 
he was able to get to ask for repentance. Um, and when that happened, he awoke. Um, but he went out and he asked for forgiveness from those that he had hurt, um, his father, the members of the church. Um, and he had to forgive himself too, and especially asked ask for forgiveness from Heavenly Father, um, from Heavenly Father. Um, but his experience was so powerful that he became a missionary and he went and, um, helped so many people join, join the church and learn the gospel. Um, so yeah, and I've also added links so that you parents, um, parents can watch it with your kiddos. Um, I've added the link of the kid one and then the Bible video one. So you guys can watch that too and talk about it. But, um, so can you guys think of a time where you've had to ask for forgiveness or, um, you've had to forgive somebody, um, and parents, you can pause here again, <laughs> but like I said, I've had to ask a lot, um, in my life for forgiveness. I've had to ask it for my husband, um, my family. Um, especially when I'm not nice to my kiddos, I, I have to ask for permission uh, or per, for forgiveness. So, um, an example from my life is that my sister and I, she's older, um, but we got into an argument, um, a few weeks ago and she said some pretty mean things to me. Um, and it really hurt my feelings. Um, we didn't talk for a couple days, but she called back and she apologized and she asked for forgiveness and I immediately forgave her. Um, because I know it doesn't help anybody by holding on to the, to holding on to the, that resentment. Um, and there's a cool activity that you can do with your, with your family where you squeeze, squeeze your hands so tight, hold them tight, hold them tight, hold them tight. For a long, long time until you can't anymore, and then you slowly open them, and do you know what happens? It hurts. Yeah, but if you do it again, you do it again, you squeeze, and you squeeze, and you squeeze, and you do it really fast, it doesn't hurt. Um, and that's an example of forgiveness. If you are able to forgive fast, then... Um, your life is better and those around you's life is better and it doesn't hurt as much. So, uh, I bear testimony that as we forgive others and ourselves, we can grow closer. Well, we do grow closer to Jesus and heavenly father. Um, we allow, when we forgive, we allow light in our lives. Um, and that drives out the darkness and I'm so grateful for the gospel, and I'm grateful that I was able to share this message with you. And I say these things in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ. Amen.